well, to kind of speak to that issue of like yeah. that feeling of hopelessness and like it's never going to happen. And also to be kind of controversial and make the show a little interesting. I, I will, I will posit that that perspective is coming from a, a Euro Eurocentric perspective that, that treatment is only, you know, we have to wait for policy and therapists mm -hmm. and school, those structures, because one of the things that, possibly is a solution and i see it happening here in my community is partnering with um you know more of those natural supports mm -hmm. that don't look like traditional therapy it's not a therapist there's no license there's no policy there's none of that there's a church or mm -hmm. there's an elder or there's a community group or a neighborhood gathering or or things that look very untraditional i mean in some ways you can obviously there's some structure that needs to be put on it, but you can look at like car car clubs. I've seen like car clubs, low rider kind of things in this area that are very, without intentionally knowing that they're doing it, are very therapeutic, very supportive. Mm -hmm. They may not get to some of those obviously deeper issues that they have, but I think that there is opportunity in communities to look at some of those collaborations with non-traditional um you know, support that may, as I mentioned, it's not going to be that acute, severe stuff. That's obviously going to take, you know, what we're talking about policy and, and mm -hmm. licensed workers, experts. But I think there is opportunity for to help either prevent or at a very surface le level kind of address some of these mental health issues or, or the roots of them in community. Um, yeah. And also, I think that might go a long way towards destigmatizing. I, I mean, obviously, this is also a long term kind of thought and whatever, but I just think it's an alternative perspective to what we all, myself included, you know, think about when we think about therapy, mental health as, as just those, the models that we're used to seeing. So I thought I'd throw that in there. You know, I like that because we know, mm -hmm. like, if we look at these marginalized communities, like, they're isolated. Like, they don't have the resources in place. And so mm -hmm. to build up that community, like, I think you would see a decrease in mental health worsening because having community, we know that if you're in isolation, your mental health is going to be poor compared to somebody who has positive supports in place. And right. so I think there would be a benefit to working with those natural supports and bringing people into the community. And then I think that really just creates an atmosphere of advocacy, advocacy too, um, because you have people who are seeing what's going on and they get to know the actual people in the community. And you can't really advocate if you don't know who you're advocating for mm -hmm. um, and the struggle. So I, sure. I actually really like that. And that was pretty sobering for me. Cause I'm like policy, why, you know, <laughs> there's problems, but I think we forget sometimes about those simpler solutions um, yeah. that do have real results. And, and the good thing, I think, yeah, I yeah. think the good thing is it's pretty, uh, there are plenty of clinicians, like experts mm -hmm. who, who, who live in both worlds that there's a, here in California, I don't know if you've heard of him, Sabrina, um, a man named Jerry Theo. He's uh, he runs a national organization that's, that's rooted in, using traditional um, indigenous um, approaches to treating mental health and, and stuff. Oh, cool, so, yeah. so he's, he's, he's a, you know, I think he's an LCSW. Like he, I mean, him and his team are very mm -hmm. professional. They, they present all over the place and they're very qualified professionally, but they're rooted in those traditional approaches. And, and they've gone into, he's in Southern California, but he's mm -hmm. from everywhere, but they have gone into some of the hardest core neighborhoods and some of those hard, what we would call hardcore, um, you know, challenges, challenging youth or whatever, they, they've they very successfully used those methods to, to, you know, address that. So uh, 